Here we are at the back of a 6042 Mark II. We're going to replace an ink supply valve known as a TS cartridge valve. The parts you'll need for this procedure are the cartridge valve itself, M015864. I highly recommend you have a couple blue seals that go in the connections, M700734. Tools you'll need, Phillips screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and a set of hemostats with the jaws protected with some rubber tubing. We're going to use this to clamp the ink lines. We don't want to damage the ink lines. So let's talk about how these ink connections work, where the ink lines connect to the components. You want to put your blue rubber seal into that interface right there. Make sure it's fully seated correctly. For demonstration purposes, I'm using this cap, but it's the same connections as this black line. So for instance, we want to make sure that we're good and lined up. We can spread those tabs out enough, tabs, to get a good connection. That is not a good connection. That's good connection. You should hear the click, and you can see the connection there. The tough one will be here at the top. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's move on. Today we'll be swapping out the primer ink supply valve. First thing you want to do, turn the machine off at the side at the main power switch if you want to unplug it. Over here we want to disconnect here. Put a cap on this immediately. There we go. We want to cap this off immediately or else the ink can drain down through the lines and overflow the sub tank. If you leave this not clamped or capped, you can easily destroy a sub tank. Here is the ink supply line to the ink valve. We need to clamp that off or we need to empty the tank. I recommend the hemostats. Gently clamp the line. Now we can disconnect the solenoid from the valve. Disconnect the ink line back here, another connector. There we go. I have to have a rag, I'm sorry, absorbent cloth ready. The text wipes or the alpha wipes, highly recommended. Now we can push up at the bottom of this whole ink valve assembly. I'm pushing here up.
There's a tab that can slip out from the mount. There we go. Pull back the gray tabs here. And we are free. Replace with the new valve. This tab goes in this upper slot. Push the lower tab up and into the mount. Let's replace this connector now. Make sure the blue seal, if it's not in this connector, is in, you get a new one in here. This seal must be here for this connection. Proper alignment is very important. There's my two clicks. I know it's on. Insert the solenoid back into the mount. Push it home. Before we need to go any further, let's go ahead and disconnect this cap and reconnect the ink line. Make sure your connections are good. We're going to take the clamp off. And watch this connection. Make sure you don't immediately see an ink leak. If you do, then we need to reseat this connection. We will now reinstall solenoid assembly. That's it. Check your work and then you can power up. That should be it.